I would be remiss in my duties if I didn't bring this up. Half in the bag. The power of pain compels you! Yeah, I know. I just hang with me. Hang with some good shit. Get close. See if I can find it. They get popular and yeah. well known. That doesn't really happen in this movie. No. They go to a rock concert, and then there's no escalation of them catching more ghosts anywhere else. They just do that, and then they're in the mayor's office. So this and he's like, you guys got to stop being so well-known. It's like they made one appearance, one place. You, you have to show that. You got to show these things. You need them being on Larry King Live talking about Elvis. Speaking of Larry King Live, <laughs> we have here in front of us a bottle of Crystal Head Vodka. Have you seen this new by Dan Aykroyd. It's the best thing Dan Aykroyd's produced in 20 years. Uh, uh, disclosure, <laughs> we were not paid to endorse this product by Dan Aykroyd. Uh, unlike all the products in His the new Ghostbusters movie. Um, we'll be ordering Papa. Strongly suggested. <laughs> what the Papa? Are you crazy? He's the best customer. Eating Pringles. I'm eating Pringles. It took me a second to realize that was no. actually John. <laughs> Versus uh, Ooh, Justin uh, Bateman. <laughs> like, huh? This, this crystal. Who's that? Ooh, it's very nice. Apparently it's very, very uh, high quality vodka, according to Dan Aykroyd. Okay, very good. Well, this is, is this, you like this. This is clean vodka. This has no glycol. A lot of glycol. <laughs> oh, have stuff, huh? increased glycol, and they put them in there for smoothness. He was on Larry King Live, uh, hawking his his uh, his vodka. Him and Larry had a shot. Mm, very nice. I think it almost killed Larry King. <laughs> It's oh like boy. Jackie Gleason. Smooth. <laughs> but we're going to sample this now, and we're going to drink to... Harold Ramis. Harold Ramis. Rest in peace, Harold Ramis. You didn't have to see this. <laughs> you lucky, lucky bastard. That's where they're going. <sighs> that is a smooth vodka. That is a good vodka. Tastes like water. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know what we should do? We should mix uh, the Dan Aykroyd vodka with the Ghostbusters Excellent. Ecto Cooler. Ooh, all right. Now, Think Tank, what's the name of the drink? Has someone done this already? I'm sure somebody has to have thought of this, right? If not, we're coining it. Um, the Slimer? The Slimer? Uh, that's pretty simple. Yeah. Unfortunately, oh, we cannot find the cans, kid. so we have these tiny, <laughs> tiny... Uh, the Ghost Bender. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> One shot's worth of Dan Aykroyd's Crystal Skull Vodka. And I guess one container of Ecto Cooler? <laughs> and for those of you in China, you probably will not feel the urge to drink heavily after Ghostbusters because you probably aren't going to be able to see it. Yes, your communist government thinks the movie's witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not allowed to have uh, any skulls. Um, throughout your, uh... This was the amount of shit in the original. <laughs> <laughs> the new Ghostbusters. Imagine a Twinkie, 15 miles long, weighing 35,000 tons. That's a big flop. <laughs> Was there anything you liked about the film? Let's start. Let's start with the this silver is the end credits. Here over, over our, uh, I like the end credits. Cloud. I, I, How come they didn't have a? Where are they now? <laughs> There's two more spots in this. The EVP. It's a set for electro. My, my just gets plastered in the middle of this. Yeah. Have the Ghostbusters. Fair, because it's a Ghostbusters movie. And, uh, Holy shit, we're off the rails. <laughs> there you go. Again, uh, we, are, oh, we are not being sponsored. We are not sponsored by Dan Aykroyd in any way. But we really like this vodka. Very good. Um, it is very good. It is good. <laughs> yeah, very nice. yeah. Yeah. Bill Murray uh, is in it briefly. Oh, Zach Baggins. He looks like he Baggins. cannot get yeah. fucked. Zach and he acts opposite. Oh, I only got a name because of Mike. Yeah. I'm just saying he had the whole look. Bill Murray yeah. comes in the room we'll have the ghost and immediately still sits in the chair here, and for the rest of the scene. Screw. And I'm just thinking, like, that's all he wanted here. to do. And I'll do this is the only way they got him to set. I thought, I thought initially that first, the first cameo we see by Bill Murray hey, Dan, was on TV What program. do you think he just heard out of the EVP? I thought that was it. I thought that was it. I thought that was like a green screen in his living room. They just wheeled it in. Bill Murray plays a guy who wears a weird hat and has a cane, who's the debunker of paranormal stuff. He's essentially the Walter Peck character who just comes around and says 
what are you doing? I don't like you. Uh, except for well, the Walter Pike character had major <laughs> consequences. Hey, Adam, what do you think about spirits? Story. He had a uh, story. And, and he was... Except for those that don't right. have glycol. He was right. right. Those are pretty cool. Investigate this, uh, they don't mean slime spirits uh, everywhere. Yeah, pesticides. Yeah, uh, insecticides. Uh, insecticides. Uh, scientific uh, scientific uh, he's just doing, doing his job <laughs> working for the EPA. So, yeah, Bill Murray is that guy. He's that guy, but they don't. he doesn't have enough scenes to complete that character. No. He just shows up at their, they have a, their ghost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. Don't move. You got a, uh. No, I'm tired. No, no. I'm listen. just going to go ahead and take off. How about that? I, I don't really think that's a good idea. No, nope. going to take off. Don't piss off the ghost. Really? You really have a Ghostbusters. It's, it's, it's a thing. The original 1984 Ghostbusters. You have your bad guys, you have your ghosts, you have your, your, your characters and, and, and things they say. And they took it and they made like a negative out of, out of it. Like a film negative where it inverted everything. All the way, yeah, the genders. Except for there weren't three black ladies and a white lady. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? You I mean. can't go that far. It inverted, inverted the genders and it inverted, the, except for Janine wasn't a bumbling, brain-dead moron. That is something I want to bring up. Sassy, smart That's lady Chris who didn't take shit. Quick better jobs than this. Ghostbusters, what do you want? Well, uh, what about this one? Uh, I think you might have made a mistake. I don't think that one's for us. Oh, no, no, that's, that's for you. No, I just thought the floating hot dog implies that the ghost is holding you. <laughs> Your work is more cerebral than I expected. See some more. And Winston? Winston Zettimore uh, was not a, a sassy, back-talking black guy. That knows the streets. That he, knows the streets. He was not a stereotype. The fact that Winston was black was incidental. Yeah. This whole movie is like, right now, we have a new Star Wars series going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, here's an EVP. But related to that... that ghostly voice? Oh, my God. Let's listen to see if we caught an electro voice phenomenon. <laughs> oh my god, that's racist. I can't believe they said that. <laughs> that's amazing. There are spirits among us. <laughs> In the bottle. Well, what I keep saying is, if you want to have people rally behind something and people are really getting behind Someone's this... Sipping. <laughs> um, some people are really getting behind this as some sort of, you know, feminist thing. Show the button, Why yeah. this move? This is like a corporate product Look how much is left that exists. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. No. This is third cup. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta put a lesbian and feminist twist on this. That's another thing. Kate McKinnon's character. Is... She's most, well, she's a lesbian in real life, Kate McKinnon. Sure. Yeah. I think we're sponsored by this. No, no, no. Full disclosure, we are not, I repeat, not endorsed by uh, this product. Well, Dan Aykroyd has a financial right, investment yeah. in this new Ghostbusters, right. and we're ripping it apart, so that's I true. think, that's, that's I think we're safe. That's proof enough that we are not. <laughs> yeah. 80 100 proof. 80 proof. 80 proof. Oh, 90 proof. Snap. Hey, guys, check it out. Kevin, hey, come inside. I was born to be a Ghostbuster, yes. all right? <clears throat> oh, man. That's I so not good. I love this. But then the bad guy ghost, he possesses uh, Chris Hemsworth, yeah. And then Rich, 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 Rich. I just need to stop you. You, you consistently all, always say Chris Helmsworth. <coughs> Hemsworth. It's Hemsworth. I'm sorry. You should have called it. I'm sorry, Chris Hemsworth. Apologize to the guy named Chris Helmsworth. Who constantly thinks you're talking about him? <laughs> <laughs> Why is Rich Evans talking about me? Right. Does he have mental problems? Is that why he's so confused no, about it? He's he just <laughs> this is a horse cup. Why does Rich Evans keep talking about me on that internet program? But in, in the film, <laughs> the very awkward scene where possessed Chris Hemsworth. He's, Thank you. He's by the building with the ghost machine, and the army comes to stop him. And then, I guess he's just one ghost, but he possesses the entire army himself. He has the power to do anything. And then he makes them do this. And you're waiting for the dance number to start out, once all of the army and the police force are just in this, like, pose like this. 
and it never happens. Yeah. And it's so weird that everyone just stops to do this. And they're frozen like that for the rest of the, the scene, which got the one laugh out of me in the whole movie, is all the army is frozen like this, and then the Ghostbusters show up, and they're walking through this crowd of frozen army guys like this, and Leslie so Jones goes, why do you like this? And that made me laugh. Oh, well that was just some mundane line of dialogue. I know, and it made me laugh, because it was a mundane line of dialogue. You know, and it made me think of the original movie. But uh, I chuckled one time in the film, and it was when Chris Hemsworth <laughs> um, it, said, it comes back in a second. Can I bring my cat to work? Mm. <laughs> And then, <laughs> which led to some really awkward improv. Yeah, and then yeah, no, uh, it was it was. Is that what made you laugh? That whole improv scene. That whole exchange. Where he has a dog, but the dog's name is Mike Hat. My cat. So they thought he was talking about my cat, but he meant my dog, whose name is Mike Hat. That was so bad. It was straight out of Space Con. <laughs> there's multiple levels. There's multiple levels because it's not just Mike Hat. Because at first he says Mike Hat. Yeah. Right. And then oh, he's bringing a cat. No, it's a dog. Oh, it's a dog named My Cat. And he says, no, the dog's name is Mike. Yeah. Mike Hat. That's where you can see the wheel spinning from behind the camera and both thing yelling, no, say this now. But, that, but then they tied it up with a nice comedy bow when they said, no, the cat's at my mom's house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, so, I don't know if that was Chris Helmsworth's uh, brilliant, brilliant, fuck brilliant ad. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> And suddenly he's just started improvising jokes, and the ladies looked at me like, "Did you write that for him?" I was like, "I he's he's off book. He's going for it." And who knew that he could be that funny? I knew he'd be funny, but I didn't think he could be hilarious. No, and it was so disconnected hilarious. from. Uh, he laughs at himself when the thunder rumbles in the movie, though. <laughs> Sorry, guys, that was me. <laughs> All right, we'll take another little quick break. Breakerushki.